Hey, how you doing? Mr. Bill here today. And today in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about discovering artifacts in time-based effects. So you might be thinking like, what the fuck does that mean? Well, <clears throat> what it means is that every time-based effect, like a, a reverb or a chorus or a delay, or just anything that's time-based, like a, I guess a phaser or a flanger, I guess are also time-based to some degree. Um, <clears throat> well, it has artifacts in it. And you normally don't hear these artifacts, so like, let me give you an example. We do hear some artifacts. Uh, so here we, we have like a saw, uh, yeah, let's do a saw wave. Just play it. And then let's put a reverb on here. So you hear a little bit of artifacts, like that's the nature of the reverb. But after well, well beyond 1.6 seconds has occurred, it, it stops or you don't hear it, um, even though 1.6 seconds is the, dec the decay time. <coughs> um, so here's a trick that Woolg showed me. Basically what you do is you put like five utilities on after this reverb and just turn them all up to the max volume. And then you put a limiter on it after that. And then what you get is something like this. I'll turn this down a bit. And you see now how instead of having a decay that kind of shuts off over time, you just have this brick now, this sausage that just kind of keeps going for the entirety of the decay time uh, of the reverb. Um, so that would look something like, I can show you a comparison. So this is what it would look like if you had all, the, all of these on. Versus if you had all of this stuff turned off. You can see one of them is kind of like a, like a transient, it, there is still signal happening over here. You just don't really hear it because it just gets too quiet. Whereas this one, you hear every little part of it. And that actually goes for, if we hover over here, you can see down the bottom in this gray bar here, um, the duration is 2.9 seconds, even though it says 1.6 on the device. And I'm not sure why that is. Um, <clears throat> but either way, the point is that, that we're now starting to access all of these extra things about the reverb that we couldn't access before. Uh, so the next step here is to get a saturator and you put saturator before the utilities here and then you put this onto wave shaping mode and you don't really have to do much more. I mean, you can, if you like, you can kind of mess with this more, but now check this out. If we play this, you start to get these really, really interesting artifacts that, that are ex especially good for glitch music. Sounds like this. hear all that really nice, crispy, crazy stuff at the end. And the more you play with this curve and the more you play with the reverb, the different the artifacts get. And you can do this with any time-based effect. So you don't have to do it with Valhalla. Uh, sorry, you don't have to do it with Ableton's reverb. You could do it with Valhalla. Um, or you could even do it with Ableton's chorus, which sounds like this. interesting you can also do it with delays so let's say we have this um i guess if you turn the feedback of this chorus up more it will happen more damn that's super cool that's like a really nice bass tone could be a good way to make neuro basses um and then ping pong delay you could do, do it with this as well and th this will happen with anything uh and you also don't have to feed it in uh operator with a saw wave either you could put anything you like into this so uh, let's say I get a sampler here, and then I'm, I'm working on this track right now with Bill Ain, which sounds like this. So it's kind of neuro-ish as is. So if I put one of these basses in here and play one of these into the into this. Let's see what we get here. Some like really interesting, crazy stuff. So if we record this down now. And now we could use this as maybe a fill or something, you know? So let's uh, mute this channel here and then use this as a fill somewhere. Maybe we could use it uh, right here. And it's a little longer than I would like. So let's just stretch that in with warp markers and then mute this fill for the moment. See how this sounds.
So yeah, that's uh, that's the idea about discovering artifacts in time-based effects. Um, sorry, it's such a short tutorial today. Uh, I'd also like to give a shout out to Woolg because he showed me this trick and it's a fucking amazing trick. I've been using it for a long time now. Uh, and yeah, have a good day.